Okay, folks, I put a video up the other day when I resurrected this monster and was saying how glad I was, how much better it was printing. Well, I've been printing for the last two days. Uh, here's one of the prints that I had done. This actually just got done a few minutes ago. But when I was working on the software, I had found out that I thought I had acceleration turned on for this thing. It had been so long since I printed on it, I couldn't really remember. Well, I didn't have it turned on. I don't know if you can remember from the video the other day, but this thing wasn't printing this fast before. This thing is just flying. Basically what acceleration is for a 3D printer is there's G-code that runs that basically is telling the printhead where to move and when to extrude and most of these are linear movements um, point A to point B there may be literally a million of them for a print this size but without acceleration it just starts going from point A to point B at a linear rate until it gets there and that's why it was running the way it was is basically just start at whatever the speed it thought it could go and most of that is the limitations of, the, of inertia so you can, if, if you ultimately can let's say your car can go 80 mile an hour safely down the road you can't start off at 80 mile an hour because you just spin your wheels so basically what this does without acceleration is it, it goes at whatever speed it knows it safely can go so it goes at a slower speed with acceleration it calculates that it's going to need so much time to overcome the inertia of it going in one direction or being stopped and it'll pick up speed and that's what it's basically doing is once it gets over the inertia it can go at a higher speed so that's what this is doing here in reality what this will do is take this print that has been running about five hours to run and it's telling me it's going to do it on the computer it said it was going to do it in about two hours but on the screen here it's been telling me closer to three but this has been running for 15 minutes and it's already into the base of the unit which in the previous prints it was taking it 20 some minutes just to get the raft done so we're way beyond where we were so if anybody's ever watched a pick and place machine this is running in a similar fashion to that as far as the acceleration I mean that thing is just flying laying down those uh, inner fill traces see it's just moving but I um, was able to get the base uh, leveled and I don't know if you remember the video from before but these little screws right here I can do this without getting my finger caught in the machine I really can't. but these little black knobs at the bottom right there I actually cut those on the laser and created a um, platform that I could level the base better because before there were just screws and you'd have to have wrenches and um, the patience of a saint which I don't have um, but with this I'm able to uh, adjust that and that's made a big difference in the quality and reliability of the prints um, we had a print earlier today I think this was it here I'll give you an example you can see how far along we are there with that one probably half of the way we are with this with this one this was about an hour and 20 minutes and it, it just died in the middle of it so um, we're gonna be at this same spot probably in less than uh, 30 minutes so I'd say this is at least twice as fast but anyway for all you fellow nerds out there if you're impressed I I know I am. <laughs>